Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Thought I'd do a video review of the Lenovo E15 ThinkPad laptop. So this is the new E15 E-Series laptop. It's a 15.6 inch display. Uh, let me look at the dimensions. It's about 0.75 thick, 14.5 wide, 9.6 inches deep, and 4.2 pounds. This has got the new Intel uh, 10th Gen i5 quad-core processor. The base clock is 1.6 and it's 4.2 gigahertz turbo. This model has eight gigs of RAM. It is upgradable to 16, but it does only have one SODIMM DDR4 slot. Now this model I ordered with a spinning drive and I did a video upgrading that to NVMe. It's a 256 gig. Uh, so this model actually doesn't have a fingerprint reader. The 256 gig model I ordered that came with NVMe did have a fingerprint reader and it is on the power button, which is a little unusual. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth 5, and USB 3.1 Gen 1 with type C and type A does have gigabit ethernet as well and it is a 1080p IPS matte screen. Uh, I know this is available with the Core i3 and an i7 as well uh, so those are of course configurations you could special order. Let's take a look. All right let's start by showing the boot time. This is of course with the NVMe hard drive upgrade. Spinning drives of course boot quite a bit slower than this. So you can see the Lenovo screen, sorry about the glare. And you can see it's logging on in. So pretty quick boot time overall. Just gonna launch Chrome as well, so you can see the startup time for that is quite quick. So really, really fast for a uh, really reasonably priced business class laptop. You see the power button is backlit there, and I think that's also a charging indicator. Let me plug it in so you can see. And it does flash. Of course, the screen brightened up. Uh, it does have a, a integrated keyboard, which I'm kind of concerned about. This keyboard is not removable, so that means the whole top would have to be replaced because it is plastic riveted in. It does have the funny touch point that I still don't understand why they still include on these laptops. And there are clicky buttons for the touch point, but uh, no clicky buttons for the mouse uh, touchpad, which drives me nuts. I miss the old days of having clicky buttons there. You can see it does have the standard Lenovo function keys. We'll just go over those real quick. And it does have the 10 key with the double wide zero, which I'm a big fan of. I really like rocking the 10 key. As I showed in my last video, it does have a webcam. And of course it does have a little slider that makes it go red that tells you it's off and hidden and then on. So you don't have to put tape on it like so many folks do. Uh, it does have a 65 watt power adapter that it comes with. It is USB type C. And of course this connector doubles as a dot connector. I really do recommend that uh, USB Lenovo uh, Gen 2 Type-C dock. Let's take a look at the connections. You can see there's the 3.1, which is power and display port and dock. It's got two USBs and HDMI and a headphone jack on that side. And then on this side, we've got one more USB, the fun collapsible uh, gigabit ethernet, which is really lovely. It gets stuck uh, quite often when I try to get cables out. And then the Kensington lock. Uh, as I said, it is the 1080p uh, IPS display. Um, I really like that that's standard on the previous model. The, the base had a 1366 by 768 LCD, which I feel like really um, you missed out on a lot of quality with that screen. Not to mention anything that's not 800 vertical high, uh, you can start cutting things off at the bottom, which is really annoying. And as you can see, it is that 10th gen Core i5 processor. Overall, I think it's a really quality built computer. I um, think it's really thin and lightweight for what it is. Of course, no CD drive, just like all of them these days. Uh, it does come in kind of the generic Lenovo brown box. And do always make sure your seal is uh, intact when it comes in. I'm really impressed overall with this laptop and really do recommend it and I'll probably sell a lot of them to my clients. I think the ThinkPads are very high quality. They seem to last a lot better than other brands and if you notice any bank or uh, medical facility you go in, they're almost exclusively Lenovo uh, and a lot of them are going to be ThinkPads, which is great. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you know anything about this one that I don't, please let me know in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.